Question, would you rather eat five apricots or one apple? Hmm, I don't know. Let's talk about that. Well, today we are talking about apricots and comparing to apple and see which one is better. Well, at the end of the day, you will say, I'll eat whatever I want. I agree with that. But in this diabetes channel, we kind of deep dive into these fruits to make sure you guys understand really what you're eating and what it does to you. So let's talk about apricots. Now, why I'm comparing the apricots or five apricots to one apple? Well, because the calories in five apricots and carbohydrates are very similar to one apple. Now, in this case, you can make a decision, would you like to have apricots or an apple? Another cool thing about apricots, before we forget, is that the dried apricots or the fresh apricots are pretty much the same when it comes to their glycemic index and how much it can spike your blood sugar thanks to their fiber content. Now at the end of this video, I'm going to give you a tip about the dry apricots and how not to dry the apricots or how should you not buy the commercially dried apricots because they can be quite problematic for some people. So stay tuned, let's keep. What do apricots really have? Well, the apricots have vitamin K, which is important for preventing the coagulation, the coronary artery disease. It has iron, it has calcium, potassium, vitamin A, and all these vitamins are, believe it or not, more than the vitamins that are present in the apple. So the glycemic index of the apricot is 34, which is really low in our scale. Remember our scale is from zero to 100, and anything less than 50 is considered good, the lower is better. Now, we also talk about glycemic load a lot, which is the, the concentration of the food, and you know, the glycemic index can be low, but if you're eating too much of it, can it turn into a, a lot of load in your system? Well, guess what? If you're having a portion of apricot, uh, a cup of apricot, let's say, would be a small load. So the glycemic load in that case will be around four, which below 10 is considered good, below five is considered perfect. So that makes the apricots as a perfect snack for someone with sweet tooth and diabetes, someone who wants to reduce their complications due to cardiovascular disease, someone who wants to have bowel movements. It's interesting that actually apricots have a laxative effect. So if you really have constipation, issues that may be the perfect solution for you, the perfect natural solution for you. It is crazy to know that just two apricots have around 60 milligrams of calcium. I mean, look, you don't have to be drinking milk all day long to get your calcium needs. Just a few apricots will go a long way. So remember, Potassium is an extremely important mineral for blood pressure and normally it's found in vegetables and some people are forced to drink vegetable juice which they hate or they just want to eat vegetables which sometimes they hate. Well, those people may like the fruits. Well, for those people, these apricots will give it almost half of daily potassium requirement if they consume only 100 grams of dried apricots. Now, vitamin A promotes healthy skin and healthy eyes. So there's plenty of vitamin A in apricots, which also makes the apricot a great multivitamin source. Again, vitamin, vita, vita means life. So you have to have your vitamins, guys. So go for the apricots. Now, the final tip, the commercially dried apricots contain something called sulfur dioxide. You can look at the nutritional information or the label. If there is sulfur dioxide, and especially if you have asthma or chronic lung problems, it can make things worse. So, how do you really dry apricots in your own home? Well, you can actually soak those apricots in four parts water, one part strict juice or lemon juice, and after five minutes of soaking, you can just dry them out. That soaking in the lemon juice will prevent the oxidation. And, but if you do that drying process yourself, you're going to have the most natural fruit that you can have that's good for your diabetes and good for many other things we talked about. So guys, make sure you remember to take the quiz below and make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video.